Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. We have a, another special guest and another comedian. I am so thrilled to be able to introduce to you a award-winning uh, comedian of the year, Kenny Lee Robinson. And Kenny's known, better known as Cornbread the Comic. And he, uh, he shared a scripture with me with his theme and his mission statement. And I, I just asked him to start with that. Welcome. Thank you so much, Kenny, for joining me today. Thank you, Andy, for having me. And it is, it is great to be here. Uh, I will just start with my, my favorite verse in the whole Bible is Genesis 21.6. Sarah, just at 90 years old, had found out that she's pregnant and that she's going to be the mother of nations and her descendants are going to be more than the sands on the beach. And it makes her laugh. And so Genesis 21, 6 says, God has caused me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. And that's, that's sort of my mission statement as, as a Christian comedian is that I love God. I love people and make both laugh. And if I do that, then, then that's, that's what God has called me to do. And it's great to be here with you today, Andy. And uh, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, you've been doing comedy for a while. And uh, uh, there's just different chapters in our life, isn't there? That it's amazing yes. how, how we get to where we're at today, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Um, I actually didn't start doing stand-up till I was 49 years old. So sort of like Sarah having a baby at, at 90, uh, I did my first open mic and performed on stage as a stand-up comedian when I was 49 years old. And I was actually 59 years old when I won my first award as Comedian of the Year. So uh, you're never too old. God, God can use you regardless of your age, uh, your nationality, your background, uh, God, God used crack pots. And that's, I'm definitely a crack pot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I, I like that. God uses crack pots. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah, God, God, uh, I, I had been an adult Sunday school teacher for a number of years and uh, became a motivational speaker within the company I worked for. At that time, I was a highway engineer for the Virginia Department of Transportation, worked for them for 30 some years and had done a lot of speaking at, at their conferences. And uh, I found out that people like my jokes a lot more than they like my motivation. And so uh, in 2006, I was working on a temporary assignment uh, up in the DC area. And I found out that you could actually take classes in stand-up comedy and in joke writing. And so I attended uh, 10 weeks of classes at the DC Improv, uh, did some shows and started doing open mics. And you've done open mics, Andy, you know, that's really trial by fire, uh, uh, especially as a Christian going into uh, uh, an, an area where there aren't a whole lot of clean comedians and uh, so over a period of about two years, I did probably between 150 to 200 open mics. And uh, well, one thing I knew is that I, I didn't want to be a club comedian. I'd much rather be a church comedian. Uh, you don't get heckled as much in church and they feed you a whole lot better. You get fried chicken. That's the, you that's get what fried you, chicken. Yeah. You, get, you get a lot of casseroles. <laughs> Yeah, I was. I, I remember an open mic I had in. Uh, uh, it was a competition in Nashville. I had twenty five comedians, and I was at the end. And time it got to me, everybody, most of the crowd was just comedians, and they were all drunk. And uh, <laughs> and I was clean. So, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've done some some of the uh, some of the comedy competitions in Baltimore and down in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, and uh, L.A. I was out in Pasadena and uh, at the Ice uh, Palace out there. So I, I know how those are. That That is some heavy lifting to uh, to compete in those. You, you've become a light to, to a world of darkness with your comedy, haven't you? I, I have. I, 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 I did a, uh, I did a, uh, I was doing actually a comedy competition. It was three days down in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. And a gentleman came up to me after I'd done my set. Uh, I'd, I'd moved back to the bar, and a gentleman came up to me and he said, uh, "When I, I like I say I was competing, this was a secular event, 
and I was, but I did a clean set. And the guy came up to me and he said, uh, you're a Christian, aren't you? And I said, uh, yes, sir, I am. He said, I could tell. And I said, because well, I did clean jokes. He said, no. He said, no. He said, you have a glow about you. He said, I, I noticed it, it was different than, than the other people that were on, on the stage. And uh, so I got to, you know, share with him my faith. And God opens doors like that. You know, God, you know, we never know, you know, uh, who it is that, that God wants to speak to. And he does open a lot of doors for us. It's just amazing how if we listen to the Lord, how the doors are open. One of my favorite sayings, and people hear me say this all the time during interviews, uh, God, knows our, uh, God knows our heart is up to us to hear his voice. And yeah. uh, boy, when we listen to God, he will direct us to the right place to go, won't he? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. And, and uh, you know, I've been doing comedy now for 14, 15 years, and uh, uh I still occasionally do do comedy clubs. Uh, I did a couple before uh, uh, COVID set in, but I primarily do do churches and corporate events. And uh, uh, but but occasionally, uh, one of my stand up comedy friends that that still works the clubs will give me a call and say, "Hey, can you come do you know fifteen minutes? Can you do thirty minutes? Be the middle act?" And uh, it's it's amazing because. I do it, and it's surprising as you're working the door, as people are leaving, how many people will come up to you and they'll go, and and I, you know, when I when I do a club, I don't I don't you know uh, promote that I'm a Christian. I just do a clean comedy act. But people will come up to you and they'll say, "You're a Christian, aren't you?" And I say, "Yeah, I am." They go, "I am too." And I'm yeah. oh, great. I'm glad you came out tonight. And uh, and I, matter of fact, I did a Cosies down in uh, Newport News near you. And uh, after the show was over, the owner, she came up to me, she said, uh, uh, I know you're getting ready to go to Puerto Rico and, and do this thing with FEMA, but when you get back, I really need some clean comedians. I, I, I do uh, some things with the Ruatan and, and the civics clubs and different, different organizations that come in here. And I really struggle to find clean comedians that I can put in front of them uh, when you get back from Puerto Rico, I spent a year there after Hurricane Maria. She said, when you get back, you know, stay in touch. Of course, COVID sort of shut down all the meetings like that. But, uh, it, you know, God God does open doors and God does want us. You know, Jesus didn't just, you know, separate himself away from unbelievers. He was out there, you know, doing the opposite of what the Pharisees and the religious leaders in Jerusalem thought he should be doing. Yeah. Now, um, you've got a couple of things you're telling me about the Christian uh, Comedians Association that you're a huge part of. And there's an another uh, association sure. you was telling me about. Please tell us about that in closing so that sure. so that we can hear that. And we'll please right. look at these uh, that information on this on the comment section so that you could sure. follow up with him. Sure. Thank you so much. Yes, there's there's two large um, Christian uh associations for comedians. Uh, the one that's, that's best known is called CCA, Christian Comedy Association. Uh, they were started by Chanda Pierce in Nashville and, and uh, they have their conferences all, all around the country at, at different locations. Uh, of course, last year they weren't able to have one because of COVID, but there's also another one called LOL, Gospel Comedy Association that is primarily a African-American version of CCA. And uh, they have about 100 members and usually 50 to 60 show up for their conferences. And I am on their board of directors. Uh, so uh, I've, I've, we've held conferences since I've been on the board of directors. Uh, we've done Atlanta, Charlotte, Chicago, Philadelphia, uh, DC. And uh, this year on June 24th, the last weekend in June, uh, we're going to be hosting in Triangle, Virginia, just, just south of D.C., near Quantico, and the FBI uh, and Marine Base and the FBI headquarters. And there at Triangle, we'll be having a, a three-day event. Starts on Thursday night with a meet and greet. And then Friday, we have seminars during the day and a comedy competition uh, Friday night. 
And then on Saturday, we have additional more seminars and workshops. And then on Saturday night, we have our LOL Gospel Comedy Association Awards Banquet, where we have both comedy show slash whiff awards to uh, Christian comedians, gospel comedians that have distinguished themselves through public service, uh, public service through um, uh, helping others, mentoring folks, and all that type of thing. So uh, it, you can uh, you're going to provide the information, and they can contact me, and they'll be able to uh, see if they want to come and attend the uh, LOL Gospel Comedy Association conference in June. Thank you so much. Uh, I want everyone to follow up with those uh, those comments down below that I'm going to be posting. I want you also to keep uh, track of Kenny, the uh, cornbread, the comic. L look to see where he's he's going to be uh, performing. We're praying that that things will start opening up pretty soon and we can start hearing some good comedians and music, different venues. Uh, but more important than any of that, I, I want you to keep uh, Kenny in prayer that God continues to use him uh, and he continues to be uh, a light in this time of darkness. And uh, thank, you. thank you so much for joining me, Kenny. And, and may God thank you for having me, Andy. It has been it's been a lot of fun. Thanks so much. Great, great. And thank you all for joining me in Morning Moments. Please pass this on to somebody that needs to hear this and keep coming back for some more Morning Moments. And may God richly bless you.